Hi guys, it's Geneva Style. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to react to Roswell Season 1, Episode 5. I'm excited, especially for this episode. To be honest with you, every episode is my favorite episode. I don't even know which one is my favorite anymore because I love them all. Anyway, let's get into it. Wait a second. Hmm. Why am I reconstructing a crime when there is absolutely no crime to reconstruct? It's misplaced, Maria. It's not stolen. Yeah, until we ask ourselves, why would Alex want the diary? Has he been feeling ignored, curious, asking questions we don't answer, seeking explanations we don't give? Come on, and what better way to wow, find those answers than in your journal? Yeah. Look, anyway, in this she journal, I generally attention. write everything that happened to me. She got his attention. Everything important, anyways, and... Lately, that seems to include quite a few things. And one of those things would be about... Yeah. Ooh. Right. So that kind of leads us to the problem. The problem being that that journal with the stuff about... That stuff about you and the shooting and that whole entire day and everything, that journal is kind of just... Missing. 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 Okay, space missing. changed. Not missing. No, it's misplaced. <laughs> Place. I'm on to you. Just misplaced. now, he looked right at me and said, I'm on to you. It means you read your journal. It means he knows about me. No, Max, it's not about the journal. It's about us, okay? Kyle thinks that you had something to do with our breaking up. And he's not a thief. You know, the journal has only been missing for one day. Kyle hasn't been in my house in over a week. And the crash down? No, not there either. here. Kyle. No, Max, I told you Kyle hasn't been here for over a week. I saw him. You saw him? I had a flashlight. When things get intense, uh, heightened, sometimes we feel things, see things. He was here, Liz. Honestly, so this shirt, episode and this particular well, event the is the beginning Max, of here. the infractions like going against the law doing things that you shouldn't be doing it should be you know if that a nice like a good girl a good boy wouldn't do they're starting to kind of like you know go against the law and, and do things even they're illegal that they shouldn't be done based on societal rules right so that, that's the starting point that's when they start doing things that they shouldn't be doing they're still getting in trouble basically By the way, if you hear the rain, and there's a big storm outside my window. <laughs> so if you, if you hear it, that's what it is. It's crazy. It's not in here. Any luck? No. Jump. Jeez, sorry, I forgot about that.
Michael, um, I'm sorry that the kitchen's closed. That's all right, I just ate. Um, you know, actually, this is for employees only. Max, tell me what happened. Oh, he did. What did he say? He said you wrote it all down, Liz. He said that. What do you want? I want you to know it wasn't smart to write all those things down, Liz. Yeah, I know that now. I knew it a week ago. Excuse me? That was the night I sat at the first booth. Maybe you remember. It was late like tonight, and you were at the counter, writing. Homework? Uh, yeah. A little bit. But it wasn't homework, was it? No, it wasn't. You could have put us in an awful spot, Liz. Roswell's not exactly the town you want to be unique in. You know what I mean? You have to know who your friends are. I had to know the risk. So I had to know what your journal said. You took it. I never meant for things to get out of control. It's nice to know we have at least one friend in this town. Does Max know that you... No. And you know what would be really great? If you didn't tell him. <laughs> but why don't you just destroy this, Michael? Because anyone that found this would know all about you. No. They'd know all about you, Liz. I left it at the crash down. A customer returned it. A customer? A friend. A, a good friend. Uh, look, Max, now that this is all over and everything, I feel like I owe you an explanation to why I wrote those things. No, you don't. No, I know you think that I was foolish, you know, to write about that day and you and and, and everything. But what I wrote in my journal, it didn't really have anything to do with science. Um, that day that you saved me, I, I felt something that I just had to put into words. So years from now, if anyone ever, if anyone ever touches me the way that you did, I'll know what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah. What it's supposed to feel so, like. So, can I see it? Just everything you has to compare to how she feels now. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. No. Okay, guys, episode ended, and uh, you know, in this particular episode made me think of something that Sherry Appleby did say of the new Roswell, which I've never seen. I've seen only the one one episode. That was years ago when I started doing reactions for this Roswell. I did mention that, and it was at that time when he would just got got released. I remember I watched the first episode and I stopped immediately and didn't want to watch it again. Um, basically, made me think, she stated, she compared it to Liz's uh, of that show and this show. And she said, of course, this Liz is very pure, very naive, very young. 
and the one from the new show is a little stronger. And I, it broke my heart hearing her saying that. Maybe I misunderstood, but she was saying that, of course, the list of of that show is a little bit more modern, a little bit older, a little bit more mature. But for some reason, um, I'm part, I disagree with her. This girl, you can tell that she's naive, you can tell that she's young, and she's supposed to be young because of the age. Like, she's really young in this in this season. But as she grows older, and in the follow-up seasons, she becomes such a strong woman. She is now a strong girl, and she becomes a strong, independent woman that knows what's right, knows what's wrong, and fights for what she believes, believes in. And I cannot get how... Um, Shuri Appleby was comparing her to the Liz from the new show, almost making it seem like she's just a naive girl, doesn't know what she's, you know, very naive. Yes, she is, but she's very strong, she knows what she wants, and um, that's something that's very uncommon for that age, to be honest, but she's very mature for her age, but that's my belief. So it made me think, just because of the way she was talking and describing uh, the whole situation, how she addressed the situation of the missing journal, I thought it was very mature, and and um, I really love the ending scene between Michael and Mac and, and Michael and Liz and then Liz and Max. These two scenes are the highlight of this of this episode, the highlight of this episode and the entire show, in my belief, because that's when Michael and Liz have a moment. Usually Michael and Liz don't have that many scenes together, but when they have scenes together, they're usually very interesting. They have a different a different dynamic really it's more of um envy but also admiration it's like an admiration it's crazy how he admires, admires her and you know anyway guys uh drop a comment down below if you like this episode and let me know what you guys thought of this reaction and i'll see you guys next time with the next episode bye